What's up people of the world? We are back doing another video on numerology and I wanted to switch it up a little bit today. You know, it's nice outside. I want to get in nature. I wanted something different, you know. I wanted some change. And in today's video, life path number five is all about that change. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grant Jones and I help people grow physically, mentally, and spiritually. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, right down there, hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay updated on all the new content I make each week. Today we are continuing our series on numerology, the mind numbers, and today is life path number five. If you haven't watched my video on numerology and how to find your life path number, Watch the video right here and it will explain how to find your life path. Life path number five is you guys are all about adventure, looking for that change. If you look at the number five, it looks like a road map because it goes left, down, and around. And it looks like a route right there. If you are a life path number five, that means you came to this earth to live and learn. And to list off some celebrities that are life path number fives, you got Beyonce, you got Jay-Z, Denzel Washington, Malcolm X, Ellen DeGeneres, Angelina Jolie, J.K. Rowling. Look at the impact that Life Path Number Fives have had on the world. Jay-Z and Beyonce, the impact they have on the hip-hop world. Who run the world? Girls. Ellen DeGeneres, oh my god, I love Ellen. The way she dances and makes everyone feel so at home. In the movies and books, J.K. Rowling, are you serious? J.K. Rowling with the Harry Potter series? It's amazing how much of people are reading her books. They even got me doing the accent. Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. These are the people that make a lot of impact in the world. The one thing I love about numerology is, is how we learn that everything is connected in life. If you look at Martin Luther King's number, he was a life path number one in my last video, right? And if you look at this video, Malcolm X was a life path number five. And the one and the five are natural matches in numerology. When we find people that are like-minded and are on the same vibration and frequency as us, we can accomplish so much in this life. Number five is also a representation of the word freedom. If you look at Malcolm X, he fought for civil rights and he wanted change and he wanted to be free and wanted to be equal just like everyone else. So when it comes to the number five, you want to make sure that you are finding something that is fulfilling in your life, something that makes, something that gives you meaning. Some pros to being life path number five is being very adaptable, like I said, being willing to change. You guys are also, you guys love learning as well. You love meeting new people and being the life of the party. And it goes a long way because when you think of the number five in comparison to astrology, you would think of the Gemini. And Geminis love to talk. They're always in their mind and they love being the person with the messenger. They love being the messenger of the group. You guys love trying new things and adapting to new situations, but at the same time, you have to be very careful. You gotta make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. And that's another thing. The cons of being on life path number five is you guys kind of like to overindulge in a couple of things. You gotta be mindful of what you're doing. So if you wanna try new things, that's great, but just make sure that you're not overindulging and not having some common sense when you do these things you want to do. Now like I said in my previous videos, you have to make sure that your number is balanced. So you can't be too assertive or too passive with your number. You have to find that balance that makes it harmonious. Now life path number five, if you guys are too assertive in life, you could be restless, nervous, irresponsible, you could be overindulging in things, it could lead to alcohol, drug abuse, and a lot more. So just be careful with that. Don't be too assertive. And on the other hand, if you're too passive, number fives, you're going to be fearful of change and you won't want to try new things and experience life. And that's just going to rob you from learning from experiences. But once you guys learn how to balance your number, you guys are going to be the life of the party. You're going to want to travel more. You're going to want to seek freedom. You're going to want to be more energetic. You want to be the person that everyone wants to be around. And you guys are so cool when you guys are balanced 
and you know who you are. You guys are a lot of fun when you guys are balanced. <laughs> like who wouldn't want to party with Beyonce and Ellen, you know? Picture Beyonce and Ellen in the same room. If you guys are life path number five, congratulations. You guys are the fun people, man. And the biggest thing I want you guys to know is be the change. We're gonna look up to you guys to be the ones to push us forward and inspire us to also be the ones to lead us in the right direction and help us get to the promised land. As we grow, we wanna have fun too, so you guys are always welcome to the party. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. My next video is gonna be on life path number seven, which is my number. All right, no, we gonna get crazy. If you're life path number five, wrap your number down below in the comment section and let us know that you're here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Love and light, peace.